Cambodia is all set for a general election on Sunday. Around 9.7 million of Cambodia's 16 million people are eligible to vote. In the elections to the National Assembly, aside of Cambodia's ruling People's Party, there are 17 other parties in the run. Polls will be open until 3 p.m. local time, after which a preliminary result is expected on the same date. Now this jumbo is carrying ballot boxes to a remote Cambodian village. The village with 173 voters is inaccessible by road. So a day ahead of general elections, after a three hour long and arduous journey, Cambodia's National Election Committee successfully delivered ballot boxes to the village. But don't let the government video deceive you. Even after all these efforts, the elections are not free of accusations of being rigged. First, it is almost certain that the ruling Cambodian People's Party will return to power. And the Prime Minister, Hun Sen, will extend his nearly four-decade grip on power. Most of the other political parties are obscure, and none have the clout or resources to mount a challenge to the ruling party. The CPP won all 125 seats assembly in the 2018 election. A repeat of that is highly plausible this time as well. Not that Cambodia never had a strong opposition party, the CPP encountered its biggest challenge to its rule in 2013 election, when it won less than half of the votes. It was closely followed by the newly formed Cambodia National Rescue Party. The CNRP was popular among the youth and the trade unions in the country. But in the following years, the CPP used its influence over courts and democratic institutions to hobble its rival. It culminated in the CNRP's dissolution nine months before the 2018 election for its alleged plot to overthrow Hun Sen's government. Now, the CNRP's leader was arrested on treason charges. Large numbers of opposition figures fled into exile and hundreds were convicted of crimes, mostly in abstentia in mass trials. But the CPP has some merit of its own as well. The CPP's ability to maintain peace, growth and stability after the 1917's Khmer Rouge genocide remains its biggest selling point. Now, particularly in rural areas where many Cambodians have witnessed a relative transformation in what was once among the world's poorest countries. ສານຍຸບາຍຂອງຄະນະປະປະຊາຊົນກຳປູເຈຍປັນຍາສໍາຄັນຄືຮ່ວມຮ່ວມກຳລັງມະຫາສັມຄິດຈິດ this time, Prime Minister Hun Sen's most likely eyeing a smooth path for his eldest son, Han Manet. Han Manet, who is 45, is making his debut in Sunday's election and needs to win a legislative seat to be eligible for Prime Minister. But little is known about Han Manet's vision for Cambodia. He has kept a low international profile and has rarely given interviews. Quite clearly, there's a, an, an effort by Hun Sen to intimidate everyone he can to enforce a, a degree of silence uh, from both the people and from the opposition political parties to try to make it look like there's democracy when, in fact, you know, it is as you mentioned, uh, the the second time that at a national election, uh, Hun Sen has basically faced no significant opposition. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.